But well, how do you brilliant. know that's not what happened? It's because we see black holes. Oh, okay. I can't argue with you. And the big black hole, like the uh, M87 black hole, right, six yeah. billion solar masses or something like that, that wow. thing. And in there, I think you have about a day, it's about 24 hours or so, if you cross the horizon before you go to the end of time. Wow. It's roughly speaking a day, give or take a factor of two. I can't remember exactly what it is. So That's yeah, freaking so, crazy. So, so there's a finite, there's a finite. You have a day left like, before, time, before time, ends. time ends. <laughs> yeah, and you wouldn't notice. And you wouldn't know it. No, wait, why can't reason. I notice it? Well, you wouldn't notice until the tidal forces became important. Right. So this room, in Einstein's picture, we could be falling across the horizon of a supermassive black hole, would not notice. Right. So from our perspective, everything's normal. Ultimately, you'd feel the tidal force closer like, to this right? singularity. I think it's within the last few seconds for these, if I remember rightly, mm -hmm. very big black holes. And then you feel it, and then it's tidal forces, but you wouldn't have time to react, really. You just go, that's a right,